In mathematical physics, Minkowski space or Minkowski spacetime is a combination of three-dimensional Euclidean space and time into a four-dimensional manifold where the spacetime interval between any two events is independent of the inertial frame of reference in which they are recorded. Although initially developed by mathematician Hermann Minkowski for Maxwell's equations of electromagnetism, the mathematical structure of Minkowski spacetime was shown to be an immediate consequence of the postulates of special relativity. Minkowski space is closely associated with Einstein's theory of special relativity and is the most common mathematical structure on which special relativity is formulated. While the individual components in Euclidean space and time may differ due to length contraction and time dilation, in Minkowski spacetime, all frames of reference will agree on the total distance in spacetime between events. Because it treats time differently than it treats the three spatial dimensions, Minkowski space differs from four-dimensional Euclidean space. In three-dimensional Euclidean space, e.g., simply space in Galilean relativity, the isometry group, the maps preserving the regular Euclidean distance, is the Euclidean group. It is generated by rotations, reflections, and translations. When time is amended as a fourth dimension, the further transformations of translations in time and Galilean boosts are added, and the group of all these transformations is called the Galilean group. All Galilean transformations preserve the three-dimensional Euclidean distance. This distance is purely spatial. Time differences are separately preserved as well. This changes in the spacetime of special relativity, where space and time are interwoven. Spacetime is equipped with an indefinite non-degenerate bilinear form, variously called the Minkowski metric, the Minkowski norm squared or Minkowski inner product depending on the context. The Minkowski inner product is defined so as to yield the spacetime interval between two events when given their coordinate difference vector as argument. Equipped with this inner product, the mathematical model of spacetime is called Minkowski space. The analog of the Galilean group for Minkowski space, preserving the spacetime interval as opposed to the spatial Euclidean distance is the Poincaré group. In summary, Galilean spacetime and Minkowski spacetime are, when viewed as manifolds, actually the same. They differ in what further structures are defined on them. The former has the Euclidean distance function and time, separately, together with inertial frames whose coordinates are related by Galilean transformations, while the latter has the Minkowski metric together with inertial frames whose coordinates are related by Poincaré transformations. Topic History Topic Four Dimensional Euclidean Spacetime In 1905–06 Henry Poincaré showed that by taking time to be an imaginary fourth spacetime coordinate ICT, where c is the speed of light and i is the imaginary unit, a Lorentz transformation can formally be regarded as a rotation of coordinates in a four-dimensional space with three real coordinates representing space, and one imaginary coordinate representing time, as the fourth dimension. In physical spacetime special relativity stipulates that the quantity Minus t two plus x two plus y two plus z two display style t carrot two plus x carrot two plus y carrot two plus z carrot two is invariant under coordinate changes from one inertial frame to another i E. Under Lorentz transformations. Here the speed of light c is, following Poincaré, set to unity. In the space suggested by him Poincaré mentions this only in passing where physical spacetime is coordinatized by t, x, y, z, x, y, z, it, call it coordinate space. Lorentz transformations appear as ordinary rotations preserving the quadratic form x 2 plus Y two plus Z two plus 
T two Display style x carrot two plus y carrot two plus z carrot two plus t carrot two on coordinate space. The naming and ordering of coordinates with the same labels for space coordinates, but with the imaginary time coordinate as the fourth coordinate, is conventional. The above expression, while making the former expression more familiar, may potentially be confusing because it is not the same t that appears in the latter time coordinate as in the former time itself in some inertial system as measured by clocks stationary in that system. Rotations in plane spanned by two space unit vectors appear in coordinate space as well as in physical spacetime appear as Euclidean rotations and are interpreted in the ordinary sense. The rotation in a plane spanned by a space unit vector and a time unit vector while formally still a rotation in coordinate space is a lorentz boost in physical spacetime with real inertial coordinates see also hyperbolic rotation the analogy with euclidean rotations is thus only partial this idea was elaborated by Hermann Minkowski, who used it to restate the Maxwell equations in four dimensions, showing directly their invariance under the Lorentz transformation. He further reformulated in four dimensions the then recent theory of special relativity of Einstein. From this he concluded that time and space should be treated equally, and so arose his concept of events taking place in a unified four-dimensional spacetime continuum. topic Minkowski space In a further development in his 1908 Space and Time lecture Minkowski gave an alternative formulation of this idea that used a real time coordinate instead of an imaginary one representing the four variables x y z t of space and time in coordinate form in a four dimensional real vector space Points in this space correspond to events in spacetime. In this space, there is a defined light cone associated with each point, and events not on the light cone are classified by their relation to the apex as spacelike or timelike. It is principally this view of spacetime that is current nowadays, although the older view involving imaginary time has also influenced special relativity. In the English translation of Minkowski's paper, the Minkowski metric as defined below is referred to as the line element. The Minkowski inner product of below appears unnamed when referring to orthogonality which he calls normality of certain vectors, and the Minkowski norm squared is referred to somewhat cryptically, perhaps this is translation dependent as sum. Minkowski's principal tool is the Minkowski diagram, and he uses it to define concepts and demonstrate properties of Lorentz transformations e.g. proper time and length contraction and to provide geometrical interpretation to the generalization of Newtonian mechanics to relativistic mechanics. For these special topics, see the referenced articles, as the presentation below will be principally confined to the mathematical structure Minkowski metric and from it derived quantities and the Poincaré group as symmetry group of spacetime following from the invariance of the spacetime interval on the spacetime manifold as consequences of the postulates of special relativity, not to specific application or derivation of the invariance of the spacetime interval. This structure provides the background setting of all present relativistic theories, barring general relativity for which flat Minkowski spacetime still provides a springboard as curved spacetime is locally Lorentzian. Minkowski, aware of the fundamental restatement of the theory which he had made, said, the views of space and time which I wish to lay before you have sprung from the soil of experimental physics, and therein lies their strength. They are radical. Henceforth space by itself, and time by itself, are doomed to fade away into mere shadows, and only a kind of union of the two will preserve an independent reality. Though Minkowski took an important step for physics, Einstein saw its limitation. At a time when Minkowski was giving the geometrical interpretation of special relativity by extending the Euclidean 3 space to a quasi Euclidean 4 space that included time, Einstein was already aware that this is not valid, because it excludes the phenomenon of gravitation. 
He was still far from the study of curvilinear coordinates and Riemannian geometry, and the heavy mathematical apparatus entailed. For further historical information, see references Gallison, 1979, Corrie, 1997, and Walter. 1999. Topic: Mathematical structure. It is assumed below that spacetime is endowed with a coordinate system corresponding to an inertial frame. This provides an origin, which is necessary in order to be able to refer to spacetime as being modeled as a vector space. This is not really physically motivated in that a canonical origin, central event in spacetime, should exist. One can get away with less structure, that of an affine space, but this would needlessly complicate the discussion and would not reflect how flat spacetime is normally treated mathematically in modern introductory literature. For an overview, Minkowski space is a four-dimensional real vector space equipped with a nondegenerate, symmetric bilinear form on the tangent space at each point in spacetime, here simply called the Minkowski inner product, with metric signature either plus minus 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 or minus plus plus plus. The tangent space at each event is a vector space of the same dimension as spacetime, for Topic. Tangent vectors In practice, one need not be concerned with the tangent spaces. The vector space nature of Minkowski space allows for the canonical identification of vectors in tangent spaces at points events with vectors points events in Minkowski space itself. C.E.G. Lee, 2003, Proposition 3.8. These identifications are routinely done in mathematics. They can be expressed formally in Cartesian coordinates as x 0 x 1 x 2 x 3 left right arrow x 0 E zero P plus X one E one P plus X two E two P plus X three E three P Left right arrow X zero E zero Q plus X one E one Q plus X two E two Q plus X three E three Q Display style x carrot zero x carrot one x carrot two x carrot three left right arrow x carrot zero math bf e underscore zero underscore p plus x carrot one math bf e underscore one underscore p plus x carrot two math bf e underscore two underscore p plus x carrot three math bf e underscore three underscore p left right arrow x carrot zero math bf e underscore zero underscore q plus x carrot one math bf e underscore one underscore q plus x carrot two math bf e underscore two underscore q plus x carrot three math bf e underscore three underscore q with basis vectors in the tangent spaces defined by e mu p equals X mu p or e zero p equals one o o etc. 
Display style Math BF E underscore mu underscore P equals left frac partial partial x carrot mu right underscore P text or Math BF E underscore zero underscore P equals left begin matrix one zero 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 end matrix right text etc. Here P and Q are any two events and the last identification is referred to as parallel transport. The first identification is the canonical identification of vectors in the tangent space at any point with vectors in the space itself. The appearance of basis vectors in tangent spaces as first-order differential operators is due to this identification. It is motivated by the observation that a geometrical tangent vector can be associated in a one-to-one -one manner with a directional derivative operator on the set of smooth functions. This is promoted to a definition of tangent vectors in manifolds not necessarily being embedded in N. This definition of tangent vectors is not the only possible one as ordinary n-tuples can be used as well. For some purposes it is desirable to identify tangent vectors at a point P with displacement vectors at P, which is, of course, admissible by essentially the same canonical identification. The identifications of vectors referred to above in the mathematical setting can correspondingly be found in a more physical and explicitly geometrical setting in Misner, Thorne and Wheeler 1970. They offer various degree of sophistication, and rigor, depending on which part of the material one chooses to read. Metric signature The metric signature refers to which sign the Minkowski inner product yields when given space, space-like to be specific, defined further down, and time basis vectors, time-like as arguments. Further discussion about this theoretically and consequential but practically necessary choice for purposes of internal consistency and convenience is deferred to the hide box below. Topic. Terminology Mathematically associated to the bilinear form is a tensor of type 0, 2, at each point in spacetime, called the Minkowski metric. The Minkowski metric, the bilinear form, and the Minkowski inner product are actually all the very same object. It is a bilinear function that accepts two contravariant vectors and returns a real number. In coordinates, this is the 4 times 4 matrix representing the bilinear form. For comparison, in general relativity, a Lorentzian manifold L is likewise equipped with a metric tensor G, which is a non-degenerate symmetric bilinear form on the tangent space TPL at each point P of L. In coordinates, it may be represented by a 4 times 4 matrix depending on spacetime position. Minkowski space is thus a comparatively simple special case of a Lorentzian manifold. Its metric tensor is in coordinates the same symmetric matrix at every point of M, and its arguments can, per above, be taken as vectors in spacetime itself. Introducing more terminology, but not more structure, Minkowski space is thus a pseudo-Euclidean space with total dimension n equals 4 and signature 3, 1, or 1, 3. Elements of Minkowski space are called events. Minkowski space is often denoted R3, 1 or R1, 3 to emphasize the chosen signature, or just M. It is perhaps the simplest example of a pseudo Riemannian manifold. An interesting example of non inertial coordinates for part of Minkowski spacetime are the Born coordinates. Another useful set of coordinates are the Lightconi coordinates. Topic: Pseudo-Euclidean metrics. The Minkowski metric eta is the metric tensor of Minkowski space. It is a pseudo-Euclidean metric, or more generally, a constant pseudo-Riemannian metric in Cartesian coordinates. As such, it is a non-degenerate symmetric bilinear form, a type 0, 2 tensor. 
it accepts two arguments up VP, vectors in TPM, P element of M, the tangent space at P in M due to the above-mentioned canonical identification of TPM with M itself, it accepts arguments U, V with both U and V in M. As a notational convention, vectors V in M, called four vectors, are denoted in sans-serif italics, and not, as is common in the Euclidean setting, with boldface V. The latter is generally reserved for the three-vector part to be introduced below of a four-vector. The definition U V equals eta U V display style U C D O T V equals eta U V yields an inner product-like structure on M, previously and also henceforth, called the Minkowski inner product, similar to the Euclidean inner product, but it describes a different geometry. It is also called the relativistic dot product. If the two arguments are the same, U U equals eta U U U 2 U two display style U C D O T U equals eta U U equivalent U carrot two equivalent U carrot two. The resulting quantity will be called the Minkowski norm squared. The Minkowski inner product satisfies the following properties. Eta A U plus V W equals A eta U W plus eta V W U V element of M, a element of R linearity in first slot. Display style eta O plus V W equals A eta U W plus eta V W quad foral U V in M, foral A in mathbound R Q quad text linearity in first slot eta U V equals eta V U symmetry display style eta U V equals eta V U Q quad text symmetry eta U V equals zero V element of M U equals zero non degeneracy display style Style eta u v equals zero quad foral v in M right arrow u equals zero q quad text non degeneracy. The first two conditions imply bilinearity. The defining difference between a pseudo inner product and an inner product proper is that the former is not required to be positive definite. That is eta u u. The most important feature of the inner product and norm squared is that these are quantities unaffected by Lorentz transformations. In fact, it can be taken as the defining property of a Lorentz transformation that it preserves the inner product i.e. the value of the corresponding bilinear form on two vectors. This approach is taken more generally for all classical groups definable this way in classical group. There, the matrix phi is identical in the case O the Lorentz group to the matrix eta to be displayed below. Two vectors v and w are said to be orthogonal if eta v w equals zero. For a geometric interpretation of orthogonality in the special case when eta v v zero and eta w w zero or vice versa, see hyperbolic orthogonality. A vector e is called a unit vector if eta e e equals plus or minus one. A basis for M consisting of mutually orthogonal unit vectors is called an orthonormal basis. For a given inertial frame, an orthonormal basis in space, combined by the unit time vector, forms an orthonormal basis in Minkowski space. The number of positive and negative unit vectors in any such basis is a fixed pair of numbers, equal to the signature of the bilinear form associated with the inner product. This is Sylvester's law of inertia. More terminology, but not more structure. The Minkowski metric is a pseudo-Riemannian metric, more specifically a Lorentzian metric. Even more specifically, the Lorentz metric, reserved for four-dimensional flat spacetime, with the remaining ambiguity only being the signature convention. Topic: <laughs> Minkowski metric. From the second postulate of special relativity, together with homogeneity of spacetime and isotropy of space, it follows that the spacetime interval between two arbitrary events called one and two is plus or minus c two t one 
minus T two two minus X one minus X two two minus Y one minus Y two two minus Z one minus Z two two Display style PM left C carrot two T underscore one T underscore two carrot two X underscore one X underscore two carrot two Y underscore one Y underscore two carrot two Z underscore one Z underscore two carrot two right The interval is independent of the inertial frame chosen, as is shown here. The factor plus or minus 1 determines the choice of the metric signature as an arbitrary sign convention. The numerical values of eta, viewed as a matrix representing the Minkowski inner product, follow from the theory of bilinear forms. Just as the signature of the metric is differently defined in the literature, this quantity is not consistently named. The interval as defined here is sometimes referred to as the interval squared. Even the square root of the present interval occurs. When signature and interval are fixed, ambiguity still remains as which coordinate is the time coordinate. It may be the fourth, or it may be the zeroth. This is not an exhaustive list of notational inconsistencies. It is a fact of life that one has to check out the definitions first thing when one consults the relativity literature. The invariance of the interval under coordinate transformations between inertial frames follows from the invariance of plus or minus c two t two minus x two minus y two minus z two Display style PM left C carrot two T carrot two X carrot two Y carrot two Z carrot two right with either sign plus or minus preserved, provided the transformations are linear. This quadratic form can be used to define a bilinear form U V equals plus or minus C two T one T two minus X one X two minus Y one Y two minus Z one Z two Display style U C D O T V equals PM left C carrot two T underscore one T underscore two X underscore one X underscore two Y underscore one Y underscore two Z underscore one Z underscore two right via the polarization identity. This bilinear form can in turn be written as U V equals U T eta v display style u c d o t v equals u caret mathrm t eta v, where eta is a four times four matrix associated with eta. Possibly confusingly, denote eta with just eta as is common practice. The matrix is read off from the explicit bilinear form as eta equals plus or minus minus one o o o o one o o o o one o o o o one display style eta equals p m begin p matrix minus one and zero and zero and zero zero and one and zero and zero zero and zero and one and zero zero and zero and zero and one end p matrix and the bilinear form u v equals eta u v display style u c d o t V equals eta U V, with which this section started by assuming its existence, is now identified. For definiteness and shorter presentation, the signature minus plus 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 is adopted below. 
This choice, or the other possible choice, has no known physical implications. The symmetry group preserving the bilinear form with one choice of signature is isomorphic under the map given here, with the symmetry group preserving the other choice of signature. This means that both choices are in accord with the two postulates of relativity. Switching between the two conventions is straightforward. If the metric tensor eta has been used in a derivation, go back to the earliest point where it was used, substitute eta for eta, and retrace forward to the desired formula with the desired metric signature. Topic: <laughs> Standard basis. A standard basis for Minkowski space is a set of four mutually orthogonal vectors E0, E1, E2, E3, such that minus eta E0 E0 equals eta E1 E1 equals eta E Two E two equals eta E three E three equals one Display style eta E underscore zero E underscore zero equals eta E underscore one E underscore one equals eta E underscore two E underscore two equals eta E underscore three E underscore three equals one. These conditions can be written compactly in the form eta E mu E mu equals Eta mu mu display style eta e underscore mu e underscore mu equals eta underscore mu mu. Relative to a standard basis, the components of a vector v are written v zero, v one, v two, v three, where the Einstein notation is used to write v. Topic v mu e mu. The component V0 is called the timelike component of V while the other three components are called the spatial components. The spatial components of a four-vector V may be identified with a three-vector V. V1, V2, V3 in terms of components, the Minkowski inner product between two vectors V and W is given by Eta V W equals Eta mu nu V mu W nu equals V zero W zero plus V one W one plus V two W two plus V three W three equals V mu W mu equals V mu W mu Display style eta v w equals eta underscore mu new v carrot mu w carrot new equals v carrot zero w underscore zero plus v carrot one w underscore one plus v carrot two w underscore two plus v carrot three w underscore three equals v carrot mu w underscore mu equals v underscore mu w carrot mu and eta V V equals eta mu nu V mu V nu equals V zero V zero 
plus b one b one plus b two b two plus b three v three equals v mu v mu Display style eta v v equals eta underscore mu mu v carrot mu v carrot mu equals v carrot zero v underscore zero plus v carrot one v underscore one plus v carrot two v underscore two plus v carrot three v underscore three equals v carrot mu v underscore mu. Here lowering of an index with the metric was used. Topic: Raising and lowering of indices. Technically, a non-degenerate bilinear form provides a map between a vector space and its dual. In this context, the map is between the tangent spaces of M and the cotangent spaces of M at a point in M. The tangent and cotangent spaces are dual vector spaces, so the dimension of the cotangent space at an event is also four. Just as an authentic inner product on a vector space with one argument fixed, by Riesz representation theorem, may be expressed as the action of a linear functional on the vector space, the same holds for the Minkowski inner product of Minkowski space. Thus if v μ are the components of a vector in a tangent space, then m v μ. Topic v nu are the components of a vector in the cotangent space a linear functional. Due to the identification of vectors in tangent spaces with vectors in M itself, this is mostly ignored, and vectors with lower indices are referred to as covariant vectors. In this latter interpretation, the covariant vectors are almost always implicitly identified with vectors linear functionals in the dual of Minkowski space. The ones with upper indices are contravariant vectors. In the same fashion, the inverse of the map from tangent to cotangent spaces, explicitly given by the inverse of eta in matrix representation, can be used to define raising of an index. The components of this inverse are denoted m. It happens that m m. These maps between a vector space and its dual can be denoted eta flat, eta flat and eta sharp, eta sharp by the musical analogy. Contravariant and covariant vectors are geometrically very different objects. The first can and should be thought of as arrows. A linear functional can be characterized by two objects, its kernel, which is a hyperplane passing through the origin, and its norm. Geometrically thus, covariant vectors should be viewed as a set of hyperplanes, with spacing depending on the norm bigger equals smaller spacing, with one of them the kernel passing through the origin. The mathematical term for a covariant vector is one covector or one form though the latter is usually reserved for covector fields. Misner, Thorne and Wheeler 1970 uses a vivid analogy with wave fronts of a de Broglie wave scaled by a factor of Planck's reduced constant quantum mechanically associated to a momentum 4 vector to illustrate how one could imagine a covariant version of a contravariant vector. The inner product of two contravariant vectors could equally well be thought of as the action of the covariant version of one of them on the contravariant version of the other. The inner product is then how many time the arrow pierces the planes. The mathematical reference, Lee 2003, offers the same geometrical view of these objects but mentions no piercing. The electromagnetic field tensor is a differential two-form, which geometrical description can as well be found in MTW. One may, of course, ignore geometrical views altogether as is the style in E.G. Weinberg 2002 and Landau and Lifshitz 2002 and proceed algebraically in a purely formal fashion. The time-proven robustness of the formalism itself, sometimes referred to as index gymnastics, ensures that moving vectors around and changing from contravariant to covariant vectors and vice versa as well as higher order tensors is mathematically sound. Incorrect expressions tend to reveal themselves quickly. Topic: The formalism of the Minkowski metric 
The present purpose is to show semi rigorously how formally one may apply the Minkowski metric to two vectors and obtain a real number, i.e., to display the role of the differentials, and how they disappear in a calculation. The setting is that of smooth manifold theory, and concepts such as convector fields and exterior derivatives are introduced. Lorentz transformations and symmetry The Poincare group is the group of all transformations preserving the interval. The interval is quite easily seen to be preserved by the translation group in four dimensions. The other transformations are those that preserve the interval and leave the origin fixed. Given the bilinear form associated with the Minkowski metric, the appropriate group follows directly from the theory in particular the definition of classical groups. In the linked article, one should identify eta in its a matrix representation with the matrix phi. The appropriate group is O3, 1, in this context called the Lorentz group. Its elements are called homogeneous Lorentz transformations. For other methods of derivation, with a more physical twist, see derivations of the Lorentz transformations. Among the simplest Lorentz transformations is a Lorentz boost. For reference, a boost in the x direction is given by u 0 u 1 u 2 u 3 equals gamma minus beta gamma 0 0 minus beta gamma gamma 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 U zero U one U two U three display style begin B matrix U underscore zero U underscore one U underscore two U underscore three end B matrix equals begin B matrix gamma and beta gamma and zero and zero beta gamma and gamma and zero and zero zero and zero and one and zero zero and zero and zero and one end B matrix begin B matrix U underscore zero U underscore one U underscore two 2 u underscore 3 end b matrix where gamma equals 1 1 minus v2 c2 display style gamma equals 1 over sqrt 1 v caret 2 over c caret 2 is the lorentz factor and beta equals vc display style beta equals v over c other Lorentz transformations are pure rotations and hence elements of the so 3 subgroup of o 3 1 the general homogeneous Lorentz transformation is a product of a pure boost and a pure rotation. An inhomogeneous Lorentz transformation is a homogeneous transformation followed by a translation in space and time. Special transformations are those that invert the space coordinates p and time coordinate t, respectively, or both pt. All four vectors in Minkowski space transform, by definition, according to the same formula under Lorentz transformations. Minkowski diagrams illustrate Lorentz transformations. Topic: <coughs> Causal structure. Where v is velocity, and x, y, and z are Cartesian coordinates in three-dimensional space, and c is the constant representing the universal speed limit, and t is time, the four-dimensional vector v. Topic court x, y, z, court r is classified according to the sign of c2 t2 minus r2. A vector is time-like if c2t2 greater than r2, space-like if c2t2 the set of all null vectors at an event of Minkowski space constitutes the light cone of that event. Given a time-like vector v, there is a world line of constant velocity associated with it, represented by a straight line in a Minkowski diagram. Once a direction of time is chosen, time-like and null vectors can be further decomposed into various classes. 
For timelike vectors, one has future directed timelike vectors whose first component is positive, tip of vector located in absolute future in figure, and past directed timelike vectors whose first component is negative, absolute past. Null vectors fall into three classes the zero vector, whose components in any basis are 0, 0, 0, 0 origin, future directed null vectors whose first component is positive, upper light cone, and past directed null vectors whose first component is negative lower light cone together with space like vectors there are 6 classes in all an orthonormal basis for minkowski space necessarily consists of one time like and three space like unit vectors if one wishes to work with non orthonormal bases it is possible to have other combinations of vectors for example, one can easily construct a non-orthonormal basis consisting entirely of null vectors, called a null basis. Vector fields are called timelike, spacelike or null if the associated vectors are timelike, spacelike or null at each point where the field is defined. Topic chronological and causality relations Let x, y element of M we say that x chronologically precedes y if y minus x is future directed timelike. This relation has the transitive property and so can be written x x causally precedes y if y minus x is future directed null or future directed timelike. It gives a partial ordering of space-time and so can be written x y, suppose x is an element of M is timelike. Then the simultaneous hyperplane for x is y eta x y equals zero. Display style y eta x y equals zero. Since this hyperplane varies as x varies, there is a relativity of simultaneity in Minkowski space. Topic: <laughs> Reverse triangle inequality. If V and W are both future directed timelike four vectors, then in the plus minus 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 sign convention, norms are non-negative and V plus W V plus W display style left V plus W right GEQ left V right plus left W right Topic: Generalizations. A Lorentzian manifold is a generalization of Minkowski space in two ways. The total number of spacetime dimensions is not restricted to be four, two or more, and a Lorentzian manifold need not be flat, i.e., it allows for curvature. Topic: Generalized Minkowski space. Minkowski space refers to a mathematical formulation in four dimensions. However, the mathematics can easily be extended or simplified to create an analogous generalized Minkowski space in any number of dimensions. If n2, n-dimensional Minkowski space is a vector space of real dimension n on which there is a constant Minkowski metric of signature n-1, 1, 1 or 1, n-1. These generalizations are used in theories where spacetime is assumed to have more or less than four dimensions. String theory and M theory are two examples where n greater than four. In string theory, there appears conformal field theories with one plus one spacetime dimensions. De Sitter space can be formulated as a submanifold of generalized Minkowski space, as can the model spaces of hyperbolic geometry. See below. topic curvature as a flat spacetime the three spatial components of minkowski spacetime always obey the pythagorean theorem minkowski space is a suitable basis for special relativity a good description of physical systems over finite distances in systems without significant gravitation However, in order to take gravity into account, physicists use the theory of general relativity, which is formulated in the mathematics of a non-Euclidean geometry. When this geometry is used as a model of physical space, it is known as curved space. 
even in curved space, Minkowski space is still a good description in an infinitesimal region surrounding any point, barring gravitational singularities. More abstractly, we say that in the presence of gravity spacetime is described by a curved four-dimensional manifold for which the tangent space to any point is a four-dimensional Minkowski space. Thus, the structure of Minkowski space is still essential in the description of general relativity. Geometry <inaudible> 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 The meaning of the term geometry in the context of Minkowski space depends heavily on what is meant by the term. Minkowski space is not endowed with a Euclidean geometry, and not with any of the generalized Riemannian geometries with intrinsic curvature, those exposed by the model spaces in hyperbolic geometry negative curvature, and the geometry modeled by the sphere positive curvature. The reason is the indefiniteness of the Minkowski metric. Minkowski space is, in particular, not a metric space and not a Riemannian manifold with a Riemannian metric. However, Minkowski space contains submanifolds endowed with a Riemannian metric yielding hyperbolic geometry. Model spaces of hyperbolic geometry of low dimension, say 2 or 3, cannot be isometrically embedded in Euclidean space with one more dimension, i.e. 3 or 4 respectively, with the Euclidean metric G, disallowing easy visualization. By comparison, model spaces with positive curvature are just spheres in Euclidean space of one higher dimension. It turns out however that these hyperbolic spaces can be isometrically embedded in spaces of one more dimension when the embedding space is endowed with the Minkowski metric eta. Define H1 n r Minnesota plus 1 to be the upper sheet court greater than zero of the hyperboloid H R 1 n equals C T X 1 X n element of M n C 2 T two minus x one two x n two equals R two C T greater than zero Display style math bf h underscore r carrot one n equals left left court x carrot one l dots x carrot n right in math bf m carrot n c carrot two t carrot two left x carrot one right carrot two c d o t s left x carrot n right carrot two equals r carrot two court greater than zero right in generalized Minkowski space Minnesota plus 1 of spacetime dimension n plus 1. This is one of the surfaces of transitivity of the generalized Lorentz group. The induced metric on this submanifold H R 1 n equals iota eta Display style h underscore r carrot one n equals iota carrot asterisk eta. The pullback of the Minkowski metric eta under inclusion is a Riemannian metric. With this metric h one n r is a Riemannian manifold. It is one of the model spaces of Riemannian geometry, the hyperboloid model of hyperbolic space. It is a space of constant negative curvature minus one r two. The one in the upper index refers to an enumeration of the different model spaces of hyperbolic geometry, and the n for its dimension. A2 2 corresponds to the Poincare disk model, while 3 n corresponds to the Poincare half space model of dimension n. Preliminaries <inaudible> 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 In the definition above iota, H1 n r Minnesota plus 1 is the inclusion map and the superscript star denotes the pullback. 
The present purpose is to describe this and similar operations as a preparation for the actual demonstration that H1 N R actually is a hyperbolic space. Topic: <laughs> Hyperbolic stereographic projection. In order to exhibit the metric it is necessary to pull it back via a suitable parametrization. The parametrization of a submanifold S of M is a map UMM whose range is an open subset of S if S has the same dimension as M. A parametrization is just the inverse of a coordinate map phi MUM. The parametrization to be used is the inverse of hyperbolic stereographic projection. This is illustrated in the figure to the left for n equals 2. It is instructive to compare to stereographic projection for spheres. Stereographic projection sigma HNRN and its inverse sigma minus 1 NHNR are given by where for simplicity tau court the tau x are coordinates on Minnesota plus 1 and the u are coordinates on n. Topic: Pulling back the metric. One has h. R one N equals eta H R one N equals D X one two plus plus D X N two minus D tau two display style h underscore r carrot one n equals eta underscore math bf h underscore r carrot one n equals left dx carrot one right carrot two plus c d o t s plus left dx carrot n right carrot two d tau carrot two and the map sigma minus one R N H R one N Sigma minus one U equals Tau U X U equals R R two plus U two R two minus U two two R two U R two minus U two Display style sigma carrot minus one math bound R carrot N right arrow math BF H underscore R carrot one N sigma carrot minus one math BF U equals Tau math BF U math BF X math BF U equals left R frac R carrot two plus U carrot two R carrot two U carrot two frac two R carrot two math BF U R carrot two U carrot two right the pulled back metric can be obtained by straightforward methods of calculus. Sigma minus one eta h r one n equals d x one u two plus plus d X N U two minus D Tau U two 
Display style left left sigma carrot minus one right carrot asterisk eta right underscore math BF H underscore R carrot one N equals left DX carrot one Math BF U right carrot two plus C D O T S plus left DX carrot N Math BF U right carrot two left D Tau Math BF U right carrot two one computes according to the standard rules for computing differentials, though one is really computing the rigorously defined exterior derivatives d x one u equals d two r two u one r two minus U two equals U one two R two U one R two minus U two D U one plus plus U N two R two U one R two minus U two D U N plus Tau two R two U one R two minus U two D Tau D X N U equals D two R two U N R two minus U two equals D Tau U equals D R R two plus U two R Two minus U two equals display style begin aligned DX carrot one Math BF U and equals D left frac two R carrot two U carrot one R carrot two U carrot two right equals frac partial partial U carrot one frac two R carrot two U carrot one R carrot two U carrot two do carrot one plus C D O T S plus frac partial partial U carrot N frac Two R carrot two U carrot one R carrot two U carrot two do carrot N plus frac partial partial tau frac two R carrot two U carrot one R carrot two U carrot two D tau and V D O T S D X carrot N Math BF U and equals D left frac two R carrot two U carrot N R carrot two U carrot two right equals C D O T S D tau Math BF U and equals D left R frac R carrot two plus U carrot two R carrot two U carrot two right equals C D O T S end aligned and substitutes the results into the right hand side. This yields this last equation shows that the metric on the ball is identical to the Riemannian metric H two N R in the Poincare ball model, another standard model of hyperbolic geometry. See also Remarks Notes <laughs> 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 <laughs>